Hello everyone and welcome back to Styx, Master of Shadows. Um, last time we made it through the distillery and up the elevator shaft and into Barryman's apartments. However, we tried this area a couple of times and it's harder than it looks. This patrol down here is a pain in the butt. Basically, we got to make it through this door over here without being sensed by the patrol. What was that? Who's right here, by the way. Um, or that guy standing over there. Actually, you know what? That wasn't so bad after all. I just had a rough time with it last time. I was trying a different strategy last time, so maybe that's why. Damn it. Because they can sense me, it's... Go ahead and kill me. Because they can sense me is why this is so hard. If these were regular enemies, no problem. Oh, we checkpointed right here. Okay. Good job. Good good job, beards. Good 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 stuff. I honestly thought we were close enough to make that jump. That was obviously incorrect. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to come out. Find where I'm at. I better be getting back on patrol. <laughs> that guy down there just kind of poked at the dead body to make sure it was make sure he was actually dead. That's good stuff. This is something. This is as far as we got whenever we were scoping out the area last time. Oh, I should have waited a second before popping a clone. Come on now. Okay, so we just need to keep climbing up somehow. Surely this creature. You were lucky this time, creature. How do you get any higher than this? That leads down. Which is the exact opposite of what I want.
What's that steak now? This is just the same side of the of that same uh, different the opposite side of the same room. I saw a hole that we can go through. Maybe this will help. We can like, climb up the outside of this or something. Doesn't look like it. There's no climbing the outside. This looks like it's back in the patrol room. Oh, this is a different room. Okay. Different from where we started, but it still doesn't go any any farther up. What's that steak now? My senses do not deceive me. Mm, still that smell. Yeah. I don't know how to get any higher than where we are. Let's go higher. Huh? It was nothing. You're imagining things. Yes, your elf eyes, your elf eyes do deceive you. Like this is as far as we can go. Like no. No matter how you want to look at it, there's a ceiling here. Unless there's something going on that I just straight up don't understand. Which is possible. Where does this go? Anywhere helpful? Oh, found something. Elves are fucking vicious. They're killing everything. And they're not even taking any losses. Well, at least it looks like I found the way up. At least there's that. That guy's all the way over there. How does one get up from here? I mean, obviously those stairs, but those stairs are guarded quite well, actually. Oh, wait a minute. He patrols. Never mind. Is 
That man just does not want to die. What was that? Climb. This creature. I heard something. This time it's coming from this place. Could it still out, come out by the tree? No. He saw me. Forward. I'm sure it's around here. Come back here, sub There's no point running. We can hunt you down anywhere. Yeah, that's the problem. Although it looks like I got away, which is fine. There's one right there in front of me that I didn't even see. I'm going to have to pull these enemies if I want to go through here without alerts. But honestly, I'm not concerned too concerned about the no alert thing. Get over there now. No reason there's no reason for me to head over there. None whatsoever. But I do have the amber. That's the thing. What, are we back to regular enemies now? Regular dumb old enemies that can't sense me through walls? Is it my birthday? Around, make sure nobody's walking. But of course, he he is walking, so just got to take it a little slow. Anybody actually in there? No. Someone there. Who goes there? Nobody goes there. I can see you this time. Do we really have to do this all over again? Oh, I got hit. Damn it. Oh, that actually that jump scared me a little bit. <laughs> Can you kill these things with, like, a dagger? That'd be cool. Like this. Okay. 
at least to here. And we go over and this way. This way. And we jump. Call it good. All right. We made it. The spy system installed by Quirberus for Barriman. Looks just like the dick who invented it. Let's see. The main duct. The one which listens to the tree. Gonna roll through it like a fucking ball bearing, I guess. Sticks. I hear fighting. Oh no, he's not fighting, he's prying at the the cocoons or whatever they are. The arteries. Sticks. He's killing the tree. Two left. Two left. And the heart of the tree will be mine. Not if I can stop it. Oh, we're being we're gonna be detected. What? How did you do that? You no longer carry my mark. I can no longer hear you. Ah yeah. I found that tattoo a little too showy. Not my style. And surprisingly, my headaches have been much better since I got reborn. You should try it. Real rush. So go and live your life somewhere else, and leave the heart to me. My life starts now. For the first time, I'm certain of what I want. No elf or rackash like you is going to tell me what to do. I can ash the heart. I don't give a shit about any of it. I just want I just want to make you suffer as much as you made me suffer. Yeah. I know what might really piss you off. What if I destroyed this heart that you want so much? Would you and all the other mind fucking dickheads like that? Huh? Would you? No! Don't do that! I... I forbid you! You too are a creature of the Amber! You will lose all your memories! But Styx... I ain't got no memories, remember? Yeah, all of the memories he has creature like you are fake. ...can never defeat me. Even if you no longer carry my mark, I have other ways to find you. Go say hello to your brother, vermin. Alright, took out the the clones. Ah, Don't you wanna die? Stop fooling around. Go say hello to your brother, Vermin. I don't I don't wanna. Oh, now they're invisible. Except I'll probably be able to see them with Amber Vision.
Yeah. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, the invisible ones are going to be a pain. Yeah, and they're going to kill me in one hit, so... Oh, and it won't let me, like, walk to the outside of the door here. It's one down. So what you're telling me, game, is that I should have used my uh, throwing knives on the on these invisible ones instead of. The, uh, the normal ones that I could see. I mean, not that I can't see these. I'm sure you guys can too, but... Yeah, this is gonna be... This is gonna be difficult. I feel as though this is going to be difficult. Why do you come back here? Oh god. That was... That was a glitchy mess is what that was. I do have cover kill. Covered kill. I still don't know how I'm going to do that, though. But sometimes he runs to the back, sometimes he doesn't. Why didn't you do an aerial kill there? Yeah, I thought, I thought jumping off of that little route would be high enough to do a... Uh, aerial kill, but I guess not. Yeah, it's not. I'm gonna have to figure out another way to do it. Alright, so as long as he runs in front, which he didn't, yeah, if he runs in front, I might be able to, like, almost, like, follow him around the edge of the, uh, the map. Yeah, but if if he doesn't go around in front, there's nothing I can do. I don't. I hate RNG boss fights. I can do that too.
All right. That's one down. I think that might be the answer. I think invisibility might be the answer. The only one I'm really concerned about is the one running around. Honestly. I can actually see them even easier when I'm invisible also. At least the ones that are in focus. Here comes this guy again. Ah. Okay, I got two of them. We're going to we're going to continue this episode to the end, guys. Um it might we might run run a little bit long, but that's that's fine. We're going to let that uh, the one running around in circles come back behind us again. I thought we'd get him there, but I guess not. Right, we don't have any knives. Yeah, and trying to fight an invisible enemy in hand to hand is just asking for death. I need to drink this first. Then go invisible. Kill this guy. Go invisible again. Ah, uh, I got two of them. It's like when you kill one, the other one, um... Oh, it's like the other one's no.
Gotcha. After all these years. What the fuck is that? Damn fucking elves. Even dead you still get in my way. Serves you right. There it goes. destroyed my life I was a proud and free orc and this is what Amber has made of me a puny runt with a burnt out brain sentenced to vomit his despicable reflection again and again to be sure he never forgets his curse but if I had the heart I could study it find a way to become as I was before what are you talking about our buddy is perfect for surviving in this shithole. Small, sure, but quick and mean. I was only born yesterday, and I can already see how the beings are rotten here. Yeah, in fact, I like being me. Enough raving. You may have the heart, but you can't beat me. So just give me the heart if you want me to spare you. <laughs> You don't get it, do you? Live or die, it doesn't matter as long as it's not an order given to me. Watch me, Sticks. Look at me while I choose my destiny. No! Stop! If you break the heart, everything will collapse! Crunch? The heart! I almost had it! I could have become an orc once more! What have you done, you fool? We'll become empty shells. I'm gonna bleed you if it's the last thing I do. Oh no, Sticks. I'm the one who will choose my own death. Rakesh! So after crushing the heart, we threw ourselves into the pit. Down to the roots of the tree. Flash in the amber. That's a lot of me. see myself and I am everywhere there are a whole lot of me's but they're not me and all these me's are calling to each other sticks sticks and at the same time it's as if none of them hears the others then I have this feeling like I'm falling 
but I'm falling upwards. Yeah, it's weird, man. And then I wake up, and for a few moments, I seem to hear hundreds of me calling to me. And then, I finally remember that there aren't any like me in the world, that I am the one and only Styx. And I don't know if it makes me proud or sick to my stomach. And I do believe that is the game, folks. Indeed. So that's that sticks. Master of Shadows. I hope you all have enjoyed this game. I did a lot. Um, I'm not exactly sure what happened at the end there. I believe that somehow. He survived his bath in the amber, and look, we saw all those goblins that are clones or whatever you want to call them came that came out of the amber. Like he, those are the ones that he said. You know, there there were a whole lot of me's. Um, he didn't retain any of his memories of what happened before, just just the name. So I, I think that is what allows for the setup of the second game. And so, our next session will be Shards of Darkness. I loaded up the game uh, just to make sure I had all the recording stuff set up properly, but I haven't played any of it. Um, graphically speaking, it's definitely an upgrade. Um, I don't know anything about the mechanics or anything like that. Um, and, like I mentioned before, there is the possibility of a co-op partner through that game. I don't know if that changes the campaign, if there's like a specific um, multiplayer campaign, or if it's just the same one with... Um... But, you know, I don't know if it's the same, same as a single-player campaign, just with two people, so you know, one can run distraction and the other can sneak through, or however that works. Uh, maybe there are certain areas you can only reach with co-op. I don't know, but like I said, there there is a good possibility that that'll happen. If not, then we'll just play through the single player campaign like we did this. But uh, our next um, six section session will be with uh, Shards of Darkness, which I've been looking forward to for quite a while. It is still it is still a fairly new game. It came out this year back in March, so. There won't there so it's not like an older one like this one is. This one's a few years old. But let's go ahead and skip through the rest of the credits if we can. And I'm sure I think this will just take us back to the hideout and we can replay missions. Um I may replay missions just for myself off camera to Yeah, that's what yeah, you know, basically what it's saying here. We can replay old missions in order to gain the insignias and second objectives. Which I may do eventually for um, achievement purposes, but I won't be doing. I won't be putting it on video at least. So I hope, you, like I said, I hope you all have enjoyed this series. Um, if you did, please hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Uh, lets me know that you guys do enjoy the content, and I appreciate you all for it. Comment down below. Let me know what type of stuff you want to see in the future. And for more videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. My name is Beards McGinnis, and I will see you next time.